Oh, this is so cool. I, you know what? I just Googled you. And I found out that you have been in over 90 films and, and TV shows. That's awesome. I've worked on about 90 television that's, shows. That's movies. unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And, and my personal assistant, Roger, said I should talk to you because we're making this film. And I don't know crap about making films. And I, he said that you've made a lot of them and, and that I should just uh, uh, pick your brain. So I, you... I got a question. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're a key grip. That's correct. Right? So why do they make somebody hold a key on the movie set? I don't, get, I, I don't understand that. I, I mean, usually you would put keys in the pocket, right? Or like on a key but you actually get paid to just hold a key. That's awesome. Pretty much, pretty much yes. Uh, or, or is that something different? It's, it's something pretty different, actually. Well, yes. Could you break it down for me so I understand, so I don't get into trouble and look stupid on the set? Well, there's a, there's a director, and then there uh, is a director of photography okay. that is in charge of shooting the shooting the film or right. whatever production it is right uh, and now do those two those two people are supposed to yell at each other right but it happens it does okay okay, okay. it's usually better if they don't but okay. it periodically it does happen because uh, i think i think in our case the director and the director of photography gonna be the same person so if he starts yelling at himself uh, that's just normal i don't need to worry about that is there going to be an assistant director probably well, the, the director of photography can, and the assistant director often get upset with each other. So you okay. might be able to uh, make that happen. Oh, cool. And then I just have to act cool when that happens, right? Sure. What, what is your role in this? Uh, it's a documentary film about me and my big giant rise on uh, social media. So I don't really have to do anything except show up. I just want to make sure I don't do stupid stuff around the crew and stuff. Yeah, usually if you keep your mouth shut, you, it's hard to uh, say anything stupid. But uh, so shouldn't I talk when they're rolling? When they're rolling, yeah, but when they're not, I wouldn't say anything. Uh, so that's the best way to handle the crew is just to be quiet. Because the crew really knows what they're doing, right? Um, some of them, yes. You'll, you'll, find, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to find out pretty quickly who knows what they're doing and who doesn't. And then you'll, you'll end up leaning on the people that do more than the rest of them well that's that them. that's that's good that's that's a good tip and yeah. we're so we're shooting this in may in mm -hmm. las vegas okay so you know if you want to come by and say hi we'd love to have that happen uh i might but i also know a lot of people in las vegas too who what are, that's awesome yeah oh you might be, oh, so you would you would be able to tell us the good people versus the not good people absolutely so i know the was, best people in what was your favorite film to work on? I saw you worked on Avengers. You worked on um, Cloverfield. Uh, mm -hmm. You worked with some of my cousins, the Muppets. Yep. yep. Um, what was, what's been your favorite film or TV show to work on? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I like working on action films. Uh -huh. well, I worked on two Muppets movies, which are a lot of fun. Those people are really uh, interesting and funny and personable people in right. real life. Right, makes it. Um, but I like I like doing dramas because I like the stories and I like to see amazing acting, and that's right. to me that's more interesting. And and, and is it I have done a lot of drama over the last couple of years, but the last film that I did that was drama that I really liked was a movie called The Judge, and oh, I really gripped. And I liked that was the a great film. That was a very very good film. There, uh, who was in that? Uh, oh, Robert Downey Jr. was in that. And um, what's the other actor's name? The Robert older Duvall. Guy. Yeah, Robert, Robert Duvall is fantastic. He's been in everything. I like his stuff. And Robert's He's funny. A, he gets very upset, Robert Duvall. Yeah. Was he good, though? Yeah, he was good. He, got, he, didn't, he had some moments with the director that were interesting. Oh, there's another guy that was in that movie. He's a great actor, too. He plays a bad guy in uh, Daredevil, I think, now. Um, he used to be on a TV show on Law and Order or something. Yeah. Uh, big guy. Ah, I'll have to look him up. Yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to Google. Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very yeah. good. 
He's very he's a really funny. sweet guy in real life. Yeah, I bet. I bet because he's so big, he'd scare everybody if he was the way he is on film. Very you'd, quiet. you'd be terrified. You wouldn't want to be. You wouldn't want to be near him at all. You'd be like, "Oh shit, he's coming! I gotta get out of here. He's gonna kill me." Uh, he plays a pretty frightening bad guy. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah he's one of those method actor people. They get really, and then they, all of a sudden they come at you with a gun and it's loaded, and you're like, "Hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey! Calm down! It's a movie, people." It's and then they come cut, and he's done. Yeah, that's right. That's very good. Uh, oh, this is great. I may need to talk to you again. Thank you so much. All right. All right.